The Koopas are coming. Gaming will play Super Mario World Return to Dinosaur Land. Yeah. Yeah, let me tell you about my acting chops. Which I have none, unless you count the bit part as death and a wizard to count as acting. That's right, I'm a death wizard! We all knew this. Death wizard! Wizard of death! Hey. Is that pufferfish? We didn't forget about him. We just need to show up in the water world, and then there he was. Also, the dolphins. They're here. And their name? Dolphin. Just like that bubble thing. Being just named Bubble. Oh, that's around two. Don't worry, we didn't forget about that stupid green bubble. It's somewheres. I'm on the fish. Oh, you know what? I think it might be in the ghost ship, this bubble thing. That would make the most sense. Because it's like, why wasn't the bubble in a water ghost house? So, yeah. The fish are all going... I mean, dolphins are all going the wrong way. The marine mammals. See, they... I understand them having possible scuba gear. Except for the fact... They don't have any problems seeing underwater, but... Yeah, the dolphins should probably have scuba gear. Yeah. Yeah, that that's actually very appropriate. If you understand anything. At all. Urchin Ocean 5. Right back in, doing some Duncan. In the chunkin. Punkin chunkin. That's right. Punkins. We try to make rhyme. Get one of my many continues. No, I cannot pretend to be French Canadian. I'm not even going to try. Instead, I'm going to be myself, which is probably not a good idea. Sorry, everyone else who's not me. <laughs> uh, yeah, that pipe looked like I should go in it, so that's what I'm going to do as I go through the void of time space in between. Yeah, I found that one area with the clouds in it again. Only this time it has red coin wing things. Yay! And there's more where that came from, mister. Also, they're worth collecting, too, because they actually give you points. Isn't that nice? That's what I've always wanted out of a coin. A fucking scoreboard. You did it! Yes! You've swelled again! Now you've met your quota, and no one will ever monetize you ever again, Gaming Wolf! Yes! Finally! I'm in the grown-ups bin! Ugh. Um, is it safe? Yes. I was worried I was gonna fall off. We got those Colosseum arches. Yeah. I still don't know why they're in this game. They, ne they never seem like they fit anywhere. <laughs> Unless you're actually making ancient Rome. Then what do you do? I don't know. Okay, that kind of works there. It's just an actual looking bridge. That's good. And junk. I love to tell you more, but that's all I know. Sunken ghost ship. Do 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 do. We gotta have one of those. Only it's not the key to unlocking the Bowser. So why are we here? Just to suffer? Actually, yes. Yes. Oh, I should warn you right now. Um, I just specifically remember how this level worked because, well, I say it's a warning, but it's more like there's something cryptic you have to do. So I'm about to show you how to do this right now. For those of you just following along, trying to play the game for yourself and get here, you know why you're here. You're trying to figure out what the, f the fuck the exit is. Well, I'm going to show you. Unfortunately, I can't take Yoshi with me, so we got a door here. <laughs> so if you're trying to take the Yoshi in the ghost ship, Joke's on you. You know, the ghosts aren't going to spawn, like, all throughout the thing. No. That's fine. You just got to worry about these uh, ghost centipedes. I suppose I'll call them. It makes sense. Plus, they go diagonal. I suppose that's the form that they use for the um, dead Larry Jr. things that they have in Binding of Isaac. I was just thinking about that right now, because they move diagonally. I figure what the actual name for them is, but it's basically the dead Larry Jr.'s. Uh, we'll be going up there. In just a sec. Hang on. Hey, come back here. Hey! You're being very rude, background. Actually, no, it's like, 
the wall is the background? I don't know. It's a cool effect. It's like, ha ha, fooled you. That's what I like to see, Ghost House. Keep it up. Yes, going up the coins. You know, I like the ghost house thing in the original Paper Mario. It's just that there isn't actually encounters in the house. You just kind of do the things. All right, I just needed that part to open up. Now I'm pretty much good, but it's going to be a little tricky. Yeah. That was unfortunate. I got hurt in a stupid way, but look at this. Moving blocks. Oh, my God. Which block is safe? Which block is the worst? Find out. As some blocks move. Move your blocks from side to side. Let's all swim up in the sunken ghost ship to the Mario. <laughs> I'm going to run out of Mario jokes quick, aren't I? You better believe it. Unless my joke is just I'm voicing Mario to say pretty much anything. In which case, it'll just get... You know, you'll just get tired of me talking like that. I suppose that's appropriate, but I'll probably use more of the Mario voice when I'm doing Mario 64, because he actually speaks somewhat. Anywhere else, it's just a bonus! Oh no, it's Torpedo Ted. I mentioned in a tweet once, but I figured it out. Um, there's Bullet Bill and Torpedo Ted. So, they're going to have an excellent adventure. Yeah. Just wanted to say that again. That's pretty cool. And and just like Bill and Ted, you never really see Ted again. <laughs> you only see Bill. He gets his own... He gets the Matrix. He gets John Wick. He gets all sorts of shit. Meanwhile, the actor for Ted's like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. That's okay, man. Or, unless I have that reversed. You know, I probably do. They're pretty interchangeable as names. But not the actors, they're not. Oh, um, more torpedo heads. Sure. Keep going. Did you see where I needed to go yet? You're probably face palming at me if you already know, but this is on purpose. I actually do know, I was just double checking. Or I had to double check to confirm that that's where I had to go in case there was something else I missed. You know? Like maybe some secret dragon coins. So we're going to head back now, because that will loop around. It didn't really matter if I continued to go left or go back the other way. But that's what would have happened. I would have looped back and ended up on the... I pretty much would have ended up all the way on the other side again. Essentially. Let's go. Alright, now I'm going to show you what, what the trick is. I'm not sure... I'm not sure what kind of chicanery Ragby did, but if you stand on this where the clock is, this platform comes down. Okay. Now you go up. Yeah, I thought there'd be a door there, so I'm like, oh, let me go up. So I go over the ceiling. I keep going over the ceiling until something happens. Hang on, there's ghosts afoot. Should be somewhere to go down in a moment. There we are. Got the boo buddies. That's where you go, though. Funny, right? I don't know. That's not the whole thing of a platform only going down. Oh, wait, no, there is a there is a precedent for platforms going down. You just never see them as ordinary platforms. You always see them as those yellow cheese blocks. So, kudos to you, Mr. Man. You made... The crazy level design, which would trip someone up who wasn't touching the ground. Good job. Dun dun papa dee boop. Is that really time for a bonus? I suppose it is. It's time to get bonusified. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna do the the uh, Beast Wars Megatron. Yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Urchin Ocean 6. This really is where Chocolate Lion was supposed to be. It's got six of a kind. That's the hand that happens when you have fucking two jokers. 
And then you're like, I got six aces, bitch. And then you're just like, screw you. Yeah, like two jokers, two deuces being wild. And then you're like, ha -ha, I've got eight aces. I'm the super master king of the world. Yeah, no really call for doing card games on this channel. Um, I, I said, again, there's probably plenty of good exceptions, but not if they're like, you know, just gambling or collectible card games, so to speak. Even though there's the Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy Color, which could work out. I don't know. Not really. I, don't, I mean, if you have to, like, have to set up all your cards every... Like, if there's the whole deck building thing, I mean, I'd rather just do that for real at that point, because there's just too many... There's too many options, man. And what would you be eventually doing? Just be like replacing all your cards all the time? Be like, okay, I have to check again. I have to check again. Check again. Check again now. And there's my deck. Uh, I noticed this is a vertical level going straight down. So that's nice. You know what else is nice? Corpses of fish hitting the wall and going back the other direction. I didn't know that could happen. It's crazy go nuts, university. Alright, what else you got for me? Oh no, question blocks. Uh, I guess this is just a... S oh, this is the checkpoint area. Alright. And now we've got more of the cheap, cheap things. Yes. Um, there's certain points you have to swim in since you're not small. If you were small, this would obviously be a lot easier to do. But then you have to dodge things and not get hit. So maybe just as easy? Just easy in a different way? Depends Depends on if you're an artful dodger or you just want to kill things like I do. It turns out I just have a skill at killing things. Don't take that the wrong way. I just mean video games, fool. This is a problem when there's a game with like an escort mission. Or like you have to rescue hostages because I'm focused on killing all the bad guys. And I'm like, oh yeah, there's people I have to save. Oh no! Right. That's unfortunate. I, sh I should get better at that. <laughs> no reason not to. But it's just because I have control over myself and not the uh, NPCs. That's probably why. That's 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 where the problem lies, is AI babysitting. Really, if you think about it. Especially if the AI is built to be purposely dumb and is also on your side. This is Roy's Our Boy's Castle, not to be confused with Siegfried's Castle, which is somewhere in Soul Calibur. With a white tiger eating someone. No! Want to guess what this castle's theme is? It's underwater. You didn't need to guess at all, really. Yep, they got the moving water flow. You got the... This is going to destroy the bitrate, isn't it? Oh, well! I didn't expect slight flashing, but here we are. Maybe it's because they don't expect the water to be in this area, but okay. Yeah, whatever. If it's if it's just a graphical glitch that only happens in this level, so be it. I don't think that was intended, though. Or it's just because if you look at the pixels for the water, how to make it translucent, it might be just those translucent pixels interacting with something else that I don't actually see. Yeah, see how the stuff in the water is, looks like it's slightly jerking? Yeah, it's just doing that to the background, which I didn't expect to do in an all-black background. I think that might be where the trouble lies in the graphics department. Undead fish underwater. Which I wish they wouldn't do that thing in Mario Maker where you put the dry bones underwater and it's like, okay, I'm going to be a fish now. I'm like, fuck you, I want underwater dry bones. Where's my underwater dry bones, you jackass? And then they don't give it to me. But they'll do slopes. Even if they don't belong in Mario 1. Oh well. I do like, um... The weird 3D world being 2D, but I'd rather have custom 3D world levels, honestly. Ah! Come with me, and then you won't see. Has there been more Mario Maker 2 DLC? I'm sure someone should have mentioned that to me, because everyone's big on the Animal Crossing DLC right now. And of course the Smash one, but I would assume people were keeping a closer eye on Mario Maker 2, but 
Maybe that's just sitting there now. Like all creative projects. Where they just gather up and gather dust. You know, there's been lots of like creator games before before Nintendo. Roy's our boy. This is Roy. He's not with Marf. That's a different Roy. Roy's our boy. He dead. Sorry, Roy. You just weren't our boy after all. I'm sorry to say. You are dead. Dead, dead. Thought you were hot. Guess what? You're not. Hmm. Interesting. BOOM! Mario has destroyed Roy's flooded castle and saved the Yoshi Egg. He has traveled far, but has not found Bowser's hideout. Where could it possibly be? As if it weren't obvious. It's about to be even more obvious in a second. Okay. More obvious in five seconds. Just work with me. <laughs> da, 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 da. Here I am again! Ready for another round, Mario? My hobbies are kidnapping princesses, installing lava in my room. At all times. Yep. Next time on Game Wolf Plays, what you've all been waiting for, maybe. Bowserland! The demented theme park of dementia.